Very few people realize the power that Old Man Air has. They started life all the way back in the 1970s when the airline wasn't even an airline, believe it or not. The company was a ground handling provider helping to maintain aircraft and also turn them around. Five years later, they took over Gulf Air's light aircraft division and slowly but surely they started to purchase propeller aircraft to grow their fleet. Now fast forward to 2018 and they now have a fleet of 53 aircraft and fly to 50 destinations. They're also considered as an emerging airline which can seriously disrupt the operations of Emirates and give them a run for their money. Now over the last few years, they've grown considerably and the CEO says that he expects the company to grow as much as 40% by the end of 2019. Considering that airlines only grow between the region of 10 to 25%, that's a very demanding goal. But you can sense where their head is at and also where they're aiming. Now in order to understand the position of the airline, let's look at the Gulf carriers. They're considered to be the best airlines in the world due to the excellent service that they offer, the ability to exploit their geographical location and make some excellent corporate decisions. Well, apart from Etihad, but you get what I mean. But regardless, the Gulf carriers are doing something right and it's something that even the European and the US carriers can't compete with, unless they're tired themselves out by trying. Now, Oman is slightly different. The Gulf carriers primarily focus on long-haul destinations because that's where they see the money is at whereas Oman's primary focus is on the neighbouring countries. They have an extensive network in the Middle East, such as Dubai, Doha and Jeddah. They also fly to many Asian countries such as India and Pakistan because that's a very lucrative market. Now we know what's going on with Qatar and their blockade, and many countries of the Arab world have gone against the small nation of Qatar. However, Oman has stayed neutral and maintained relationships with all parties in this dispute. At this moment in time, if you're in the Middle East or the Gulf and you need to get to Qatar, then your only option is to fly with Oman Air. Now with so many short haul routes available, the airline has chosen to launch a new low cost carrier called Salam Air, and the company plans to serve 60 destinations within the next 5 years. Now this is also AD due to the fact that they have an order for 6 A320 Neo planes. They also have a varied fleet ranging from the A330s, the 787s and also the 737 Maxis. So they put themselves in a great position to tackle every demand in every sector of the market. Now even though short haul flights is a huge factor to the airline's growth, they also focus on the premium end of the scale. They're currently offering a great first and business class cabin, and although it may not be exactly the same as the Gulf carriers cabins, it's still a great attempt and far better than what the European or the legacy carriers offer. Now with the whole situation unfolding over at Etihad, this could be the airline's chance to tap into the big boys arena and essentially be seen as the top 3 airlines in the Gulf. The way they're going at the moment, it seems to be very balanced and growing with a good momentum. This approach has proven itself to be worthwhile. Staying patient won't produce amazing fast growth, but within the next 10 to 20 or even 30 years, they could mount to be something amazing. So guys, that's an overview of a less talked about airline in the Gulf. Slowly but surely, they've been working hard and hit their goals with great effect. Now guys, I'm curious to know whether you have flown with the airline. And if you have, then share your experiences with us and let us know whether you think they'll become one of the big three. Thank you so much for watching guys. Like and subscribe for more aviation videos and I hope to see you in the next one.